Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo have now both declared public health emergencies and have opened dedicated centers to treating people who may be infected. É, nós tivemos né, uma situação de, de epidemia, né, que tivemos tipo, epidemia de dengue agora né, em Belo Horizonte nesse momento. Então nós pensamos em operacionalizar o um hospital de campanha para tentar desafogar essa rede de urgência, né? It's basically the worst outbreak in Brazil in history. We are talking about three to four thousand cases a day. We actually have three times the levels that have been documented in the past and a thousand deaths already reported. Foi piorando e quando foi ontem de manhã, ele convulsionou. Dispara um alarme, né? De, de repente, evoluir para um quadro pior. It's an infectious disease transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes. Right now, almost half of the world population are at risk of having dengue virus infection. It's a huge burden. What is happening every year is the number of cases are increasing. It was a very urban disease, but now we see dengue outbreaks happening all over the country. We have this happening in all dengue endemic countries. The incidence of dengue has increased tenfold in the last 20 years. Despite causing havoc for over 30 years in Asia and Latin America, unfortunately we still don't have a treatment for dengue. A gente já sabia que a gente ia ter um dos verões mais quentes da nossa história. E o mosquito Aedes aegypti, ele cresce e se desenvolve com muito mais velocidade no calor. Também tivemos chuvas intensas que provocou alagamentos em determinados bairros da cidade, o que facilitou o acúmulo é, de água parada e a proliferação de focos do mosquito Aedes aegypti. Mudança climática, ela antecipou a epidemia de dengue. Eu pensei que eu ia morrer, eu digo, pronto. O delegado, assim, quando eu abri o portão para sair, pum, aí eu caí nessa escada. Caí, não aguentei, eu puxa, não aguento não. Mas o que eu tô sentindo, eu não desejo para ninguém, nem para um inimigo meu. Um inimigo meu, eu não desejava. What people don't realize is people are unable to earn for a good 14 days. Qualquer movimento que eu faço no trabalho é motivo para que eu pare porque eu estou sentindo dor. E é isso. Aí tu acaba perdendo porque você fica doente. É porque as pessoas acham que na, nas comunidades, né, favelas, as pessoas talvez não tenham mais cuidados e por isso que elas têm dengue. E isso não é verdade. Eu estava tendo todos os cuidados, repelente o que não falta na minha casa e não adiantou nada. Ele teve dengue. Eu acho um absurdo os hospitais ainda não terem remédio para isso, né? With dengue patients, you don't know who is going to develop dengue hemorrhagic fever or who is going to be all right. Anybody who comes with dengue, you have to monitor regularly. The way in which we manage dengue, we stratify risk and we provide supportive care. These healthcare workers do not sleep at all because of the amount of work that they need to put in. We have enormous innovation happening in dengue, such as the Wolbachia infected mosquitoes. These are mosquitoes that basically don't transmit dengue. Wolbachia infected mosquitoes are an excellent public health tool. The experience from existing programs show us there is an enormous impact in terms of the number of cases of dengue. At the same time, this comes with a cost for implementation. It takes time for their deployment. There has been great progress with vaccines, but protection is incomplete. They have different coverage of the different dengue serotypes. The distribution and implementation is complex, and it's likely to take a long time to make them available for all the populations that need 
a treatment will still be needed. We need to treat dengue early to prevent progression to severe disease, to reduce the burden to healthcare facilities, to individuals and society. Among the learnings of the COVID epidemic is that actually we need different tools. Can we develop a drug that will prevent people from going to hospital? But also reduce the number of days in which a person gets sick. The NTI is an organization that is not-for-profit and that has a focus on developing treatments for neglected diseases. We operate in collaborations, what we call a virtual orchestra, with academia, with the private, the public sector, developing new treatments. The NDA has formed this Global Dengue Alliance. The Dengue Alliance was created so that we can develop the science to test drugs, and develop the clinical trials to test these drugs, and eventually find the drugs which to test. We have partners in Thailand, Malaysia, India, and Brazil. Working in endemic areas, getting data in different regions on antivirals and host-directed therapies. People realize from the COVID experience, either you came together to find a solution or you perish. DNEI has allowed us to meet partners within the endemic countries as a collaborative network. Is able to demonstrate there is enough expertise in this country to develop antivirus and develop the solutions for their own problem. Things are getting worse in future because of climate change. With the increase in temperatures, the mosquito densities increase, they expand into new geographical locations. The model suggests that it will continue to expand to Africa, North America, and to Europe. The number of recorded cases this year is almost three times as many as that last year. Experts say climate change is part of the blame. Rising temperatures allowing mosquitoes to survive winter in larger numbers. And actually, more than Texas, too. The way we do research needs to change. A global alliance is likely to find treatment for dengue much faster than individuals working alone. Nobody is safe from dengue. You could be the richest person, you could be the poorest person, and unfortunately people have died of dengue. It's not the time to wait until somebody else finds you a solution. It's about us finding solutions ourselves.